In the last lesson, we got our feet wet with DAX functions by using the related function to create a calculated column that brought the category and subcategory descriptions into our product dimensions. So here, here's the category and subcategory. So this time we're going to look at doing almost the opposite thing of using a function called related table to summarize some product information into the category table. So um, the first thing we'll need to do is, is turn that category table back on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, if you remember, we just have this function to hide or unhide from client tools. So I'm going to unhide that. And what that will do is put it back into the model. It still has all these um, fields that I don't really want. So I'm just going to hide these columns that I, I don't want. And uh, I don't want these two, so I'll just shift click those. Hide that column. Uh, this description and category name are a little redundant in this data set, so I'm going to hide those. And these load dates, my users, they don't care about that. So I'm going to hide those as well. OK, so now if I look at what I have exposed to the user, I have a category name, and that's fine. What I want to add to that is the count of how many products are actually in that category to give a little bit more information within this dimension and but it's going to be done in a dynamic way so every time I refresh the data into this model it's going to go out and uh, count up how many products and drop them into this column so kind of a cool little handy feature for users so again I'm gonna give this a name I'm gonna call this product count and the expression we'll use starts with the word related just like the last function did but this time we're going to get a related table and that means go get a table or a list of rows in another table and which table do we want we want that from the product table so we're in the product category table as we write this so we'll say go get the related table product but we can't take a table and then drop it into this cell within our uh, data model. We, we really need to get the count of rows in here because we want to have the, the number of rows. So the related table is going to go into the product table and pull all of the rows that are related to audio in this, in this row. And that's going to return, you know, maybe it returns 20 rows. What we want is the count of that returned table. And there's a special function for that called count rows can't get any easier than that and then we'll close that up so what we're telling you to do is go into the product table get all the rows that are related to audio and then count them and drop them into this row and then when I hit enter it will do that for every one of these rows so you see now this is a column uh, calculation so this uh, this value is actually going to be, be calculated when the data model is loaded and persisted in this table. So this, there's not going to be repetitive overhead to this. It's once the model is loaded, the value is there. We can use it to our heart's content. So let's go and look and see what we got. Again, we, uh, we refresh to let the pivot table go and refresh itself with what's in the data model. And you notice, what did we add here? Product count. So to use that, I'm going to take my product category name there those are and then click on product count and there we go so we've created a calculated column within the product category that will get the related that will go to the related table and count the number of rows for each one of these categories and we can see how we can use that within a pivot table 